Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Whatever you do, don't miss this Graphic Online series. They'll help you, they'll be a blessing to you. I like to tempt this morning's message, let us go down. <laughs> let us go down. You remember in Genesis chapter 11, when they were building the Tower of Babel, uh, when they were building the Tower, and the Bible said, the people said to one another, go to, let us make for ourselves a city. Let us build a city whose sides reach into the heavenlies. And interestingly enough, the Bible said, when they began to build, God spoke, so I, I believe it was the Father who spoke and said, behold, the people is one. The King James Version, I like it very much. The people is one. I said, hey, God's English language failed him <laughs> because of unity of the people. He said, behold, the people is one. And what they have imagined to do, nothing will stop them from what they have imagined to do. Then God said, let us go down. And there, confound their language. Now, men have decided to build. And they say, let us build for ourselves. Let us do something for us. Let us do something that is, and they say, let it reach as high as heaven. That is, let us, re, let us build something that will rebel against God. Let us build something that is for us. Let us build something that has us. We are the primary people. We are the we are the bontiers. We are the kings. You know, let us do something for ourselves. And say, so let it reach as high as heaven. Let, it defies heaven. It defies what heaven wants. Let us do something for ourselves. And the interesting thing, their unity, forgive my language, threatened God. Because God said, Hey, son, Holy Ghost, you are sitting now. If we don't go down, it said, nothing will stop them from what they have imagined to do. And the day God came down, and God said to this one, he said, and that's why for me the plural, he said, let us go down. The day God said, let us go down, then whatever they were doing came up for test. You know, sometimes, you might fool yourself and think you are doing something for God. You might fool yourself and say you are building something for, but it's about you. And what we all must be afraid of, or you might be building something, total rebellion against God. I've heard people say they don't believe in God. And they've built empires. The day God says, let us go down. And then the gunman will say, Ubana. Now, the, the chief man too will say, Obe And that is, uh, that is where I can't speak the ever prop. Boha. Be careful. You know, the day God says, let us go down, that means God is coming down and he's coming to try what you're doing. He's coming to investigate what you're doing. He's coming to examine what you're doing. So you know what? You can do whatever you want, but be afraid of the day God says, let us go down. That is when you will know. That is when everything that you think is you is going to level it. He's going to bring it down. And then you'll recognize that after all, you're nobody. What you need to be afraid of, whatever you are doing, what you need to be afraid of is the day God says, let us go down. And that is why we always constantly need to check ourselves and say, this thing that I'm doing, is it for him or is it for me? And guess what? It will prosper for a while. It will go on for a while because they were building. He didn't come down when they started. He didn't come down when they were in the middle. He came down at his own time of his choosing. There's no record of the, the specific time he did. But they had built for a while. So guess what? God would allow you to build. And you can do everything. But with time. When he says, let us go down. Then you will know. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Am I doing what I'm doing for God? I'm doing what I'm doing for myself. It is most important. If you can't make the difference on what you're doing, whether it's for God or it's for you, 
he will come and make the difference clear. Somebody said, he will make the difference clear. He will make the difference clear for you. And when he makes the difference, you will know. When the glass begins to crack, when the crystals begin to crack, when the tower begins to tumble, when everything begins to fall, disintegrate. When you try this, you try that, you can't hold it. Probably it's time for you to ask yourself, did I build for him or I built for myself? And perhaps maybe it might be time to fall on your knees and say to him, I'm sorry, like Humpty Dumpty, you come off the wall one day. So you better get down the wall fast. God bless you. Let us go down. From God, oh, not from me. See you the next time.